All right, so what we're gonna do today is we're gonna get up there and uh, clean the roof and I guess uh, rejuvenate it, I guess, is what's on the deal. You can see here, I'm also gonna look at some other stuff. I'm not sure if you can see it, but it is delaminating like right around there. So I'm gonna scrub that stuff down, see if uh, I need to reseal it anywhere. And then also, I took this dealer out and uh, a buddy of mine had a battery laying around. Uh, it's a little too big. But it's in there and it's running stuff and it's uh it's magic um so it doesn't really fit the best however free is a good price um it's this thing it's pretty rad it's like deep deep cell 100 amp hours i don't know what what this one is i haven't really uh, looked at it i did something but yeah so but ow i'm worried about uh, ouch that I didn't feel good at all, but I'm worried about that corner. I'm not sure if you can see where it's starting to delaminate. We'll get up on the roof and see what's going on. Oh, all right. So you can see here, it's been a little bit, maybe a little bit too long since we've come up and cleaned the roof, but this is where I'm having the issue. I've already fiddled with it and pulled it up. It's still sealed, but I pulled it up there and kind of see where it's coming apart. So I'm gonna scrub it down. I've got the stuff to reseal it, I believe. But you can see, I'll do this without falling off the side, where it looks like there's a gap there. I'm gonna try and reseal that. And you kind of see where it's laminated right there, just around here. I'm not sure, I'm assuming it's moisture is the issue, but I'm not an expert, so I'm just guessing. And then like right here, kind of see where it's fluffing up. And you see right there, the goddess. <laughs> um, but yeah, right there. I think I'm gonna go and then just scrub that down and then try and reseal there before it gets any worse. So I think that's what to do some more Googling about how the the roof is actually sealed into this thing. I'm not an RV expert. But this looks like it could be a problem. Probably not gonna leave that on the video. We'll try and get around Stephanie without falling through the roof. There we go. But everything else looks good. Yeah. Is it doing the same thing? Yeah, well, it just it feels like it's like starting to separate a little bit. All right, see this? Stuff looks good, except for like right there. That could be an issue. Right there where it looks like it cracked. All right there looks good. See like right there, I'm about to figure that out. Nope, that didn't sound good. These are fine. Oops, some like cracks. It's probably not good. Here's fine, they're not really seeing anything. And then in the back, you can see here where it's starting to do goofy stuff. So we'll probably pull that up too. And then in this corner, it's doing the same thing. Right there. So after some consideration, we looked at everything. I kind of messed with the side. I resealed it, if you can see. But there was that gap in there where it was open. I sealed it and then everything and then did stuff. So it's way better. And then you can kind of see. I'll show you what I did to the top. So I went and you can see there. So I've cleaned this little section just because I wanted to clean off uh, that uh, the sealant there. And uh, I just did the corners, so, so it's not all the way done. It looks pretty good there. Kind of see where I put that new stuff on. And then in the front here, where it's having the issue, I don't think it was the roof. I just think it was that gap in the siding there, but I've done the same thing. So I put stuff in the corners where I was having the issues. And then I tried to get just over there, because on this side it was just looking weird. So I put stuff 
on the side. So hopefully I solved the issues that we were having. Because I mean it looks stuff still looks good and then you can see here on this side I clean you can see where it's dirty where it's not I've I scrubbed the crap out of it it's just you can clean it it just sits outside and just stays yucky oh then I also did these as well just where the, uh, the stuff was sticking up there it, uh, it looked like the Sun was getting to it um so I just put some stuff on there to make sure that it, it, it prevented water from getting in there. Oh, look at this. See, that's cracked. I gotta clean that. Then I've got more and I'll go over it. So it's stuff like this that I was looking for. So I'll clean that, scrub it down, put it on there. And said, there's other stuff I gotta do to kind of fix all the stuff that uh, has gone wrong with our camper. Um, since we had to stay in it for so long um, because we're waiting on the house to get built so this isn't really wrong but we're gonna do something here you can see when we had the other stuff um, it was like the dinette we replaced the wallpaper but you can see it stopped right there because that's where the couch was so we're gonna do something with that on all the way around probably gonna rebuild this so it was a bunkhouse but well, we made it so our kid, because he was homeschooled, so he could have like a desk, and then he would sleep up there. Then we had a TV, he would go up there that he could play games, and down here is all business. So I'm gonna put this, make this back to like a bunk, or maybe make it a little bit bigger, that way we can fit more people back here, because now we can actually use it as a camper, and then we'll probably replace this mattress, put some different type of stuff up here, maybe some guardrails, because we have our, our younger child, they could probably sleep up here with some of his friends and then that's pretty much it so there's nothing really crazy in here you see we replaced that's where the couch used to be we put uh, like an actual table and chair so you could pull it out and uh, actually eat dinner because I like eating dinner at a table um, this stuff is good the, the stairs I think is what I'm gonna mess with now you can see that I made them so you can open them up and store stuff in there um, but like there's this then this 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 is messed up this opens up things like that the problem is is you can see it but that they, they'll move just from us living in it and getting tired so I gotta do something with that you can see here uh, we had our dog murder this section uh, on July 4th one year while we were gone looking at fireworks there was fireworks around and he decided to murder it um, and it also happened to deal with the door so the door just flops now there's like a bracket it'll go on the bottom over there that kind of holds it in place um that's pretty much it because so everything else is good oh we had a tv there it's not inside the house probably bring it back in but we had other stuff that i gotta mess with but other than that it's pretty much just this i'm gonna take this junk apart go from there you see we put a curtain rod or an actual uh, shower rod in here because this thing that comes with uh, the grand designs was not the best it would just open and close on you when you didn't want it to and then you can see like wear and tear stuff here probably gonna repaint uh, this stuff what's going on but right now I'm gonna deal with that all right so it looks like we didn't empty out everything before we get stuck oh, before we get started and uh, I think that's what we're going to do now. So we're throwing everything out. And I think we're going to take all this stuff apart. Uh, find out what we need to kind of make them uh, better. I think we're probably going to try and close them up now. Because we're not actually staying in here. So we won't need as much storage. So we'll try and figure that junk out. What do you think? Good plan. All right. right now, you'll see they're like... They're janky. Yeah, I kind of showed them already that they're janky and they move around. So we got to... Stiffing them up. <laughs> All right, that's it's not going in the video, freak. All right, I think she's gonna be the workhorse today. Or you could you could videotape me. Let's do it. You videotape me. You just hold this bad dog. No work. Oh shit! I know you you put in work. Oh, 
they they came apart part. Mm, they sure did. From the uh, from the deals. That shouldn't be a hard fix though. No, no. It looks we like they just had like a glue yeah, of some we, sort on there. That one, like where the the fake wood lamination. Mm-hmm. We need to do something like I yeah, don't know. Maybe we'll, we'll just we like recoat the top. Yeah. Once we take it all the way out. Yeah, that one came apart too. So you can see that the glue that they have is only like a small little piece. And then what did we put on? I think I put on hinges here. Oh yeah, and they're all real tired. You can see them. I didn't do a very good job, but. It's hard to do stuff when four people live in a 34 foot fifth wheel. Yeah, yeah. Apart. You can see, like, I tried to walk down. don't die. Yeah. So you can see, this is like what they just had in there. Like, it's not very good. You see all the yuck that made its way through there, just by being there. And this stuff, just did that before we replaced everything. Just from us going up and down the steps a whole bunch of times, it wore a hole in there, which wasn't good. Cool. This is all broken. Mm -hmm. I feel like this all needs to just be redone. Yeah. So I should probably just take it all apart. I think. Is this thing. So if you want to see what it looks like in a, what do we got? A 290. 290 BH. BH. Grand so design. Need, grand design. Mm -hmm. uh, but either way, so this is what your steps look like. So you can see it's not very good, and they just support it by putting it into your walls right there that that happens once yeah and then so it gets all loose if you spend any time in it so ours is three years old and the thing is is like ours has been pretty great it's just you know we spend a lot of time in it and it gets loose and, and wobbly so that'll come out of there because it doesn't get a lot of see in there that's all it gets so if you got like four people living in here or in here all this, the time the and then like, a... like ten people uh, hanging out uh, over weekends and like long weeks when we go camping like we do, it'll get tired. What now? Okay, so thank for our best choice for this because it has like the specific grand design. Pacific. Ugly wallpaper. All right. Is to like take this whole sheet take off. Take this whole sheet out and put up plywood or something. You, I don't know the right, but make this like an accent wall, so these two walls match. Sort of. Right? No, or do you want to? Like get like wallpaper or something. Okay, to put and, over that and and plywood and over, cover yeah. it. Yeah, so that way they match. All right. Like a white ship lap or something. But it looks like to take this thing down, since we're no expert, we have to take this, all this stuff out, and then pop these up. This, pop this up, take that out. Either that or what we could do is just cut from here down, and then do something different down there, and then put something in here. Just pop it in and then do like tape to mask the line and then just redo this whole wall with like a wallpaper. Oh. And then we could just get like a, a dealer. whatever this corner molding is. And go from there and then cover it? Yeah. That sounds way good, right? And just like cut out from like where, so our dog ate this the first weekend we got it. Yeah. Oh, I thought it was fireworks. It wasn't fireworks, was it? No, that made it worse. It was just, he was mad he was in here, right? Yeah. yeah. And he ate it because we closed this door and he was angry. He couldn't get in our room. Yep, so he ate he from ate there from down there to try and get in. It didn't work. He failed, but all right. But so I think just cut from here out. Oh, okay. <laughs> all right, so what I've done, I don't know if it's right or not, but I've measured 45 inches, which is like right above the here. Go over there, I'm gonna cut uh, this deal. I don't know how it's gonna go. I'm not. I, I'm a carpenter. I do this every day. Yeah, I don't. Uh, we'll see how like it goes. Twice though. a year. Huh? Like twice a year. Twice a year. I'm. This is it. You saw me take the stairs apart. <laughs> now I'm gonna do this. Uh, I'm not. We'll see how it goes. I don't know what's gonna happen. I don't know what's back here. I'll probably hit some electric. 
I don't Actually, I doubt it. I, I don't, don't think, think so. Oh. That's up above your line. All right, up above the line. Be careful, but okay? I've looked up, oh, look at this. But we'll see how it goes. I'm just gonna, just do, I got this, this dealer thing is magic. We'll just see how it goes. Got a really short, but safety third, I've got glasses on. Oh, what's her face? I've got, I brought you in some glasses too. Can you even see me with that? No. I could see you when you were down low. Yeah, but I'm up high now. Well, the screen turned Camera off. Camera woman. Screen turned off. Camera, camera, I never camera said woman X. I never said I was good with cameras. Gotta get better. <laughs> I don't know if you can see that, no, but either way, it should be I'm on the bed. Well, I'm gonna move in a second. It's just this one. Get a good view. I just don't see them nowhere. What does it look like on the inside? Oh, there's nothing there. No, I think it just goes like, <clears throat> like that. You just pop it off like that. There's what? a staple. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, yeah, see, it goes in the corner here. So there's one, two, two staples. They call that... Uh, efficiency. <laughs> efficiency, <laughs> all right. Oh, that already looks way better, actually. Like, way, way gooder. All we right. way could have done this. Huh? We could have done this a minute ago. Yeah, but we're doing a meow. <laughs> it's fancy bag. Let's not do it while we live in it. Let's wait until we're done. Uh, yes, for sure. Let's do that. Super smart. <laughs> Boy, you're sexy. <laughs> Get out of there! <laughs> All right. So now I think we just need to find the stuff to, to replace this, right? Yeah. Just like a thin sheet of plywood. You probably thin use that that piece that you brought to like uh like check the the depth on it. I can measure it. It's There's real. things called measuring toughness. I say you just, tapes in, in Spanish. I was just saying you just bring it and you'd be like, is this the same? Yes is, or no? This is it? <laughs> 